Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ember series. And today we're going to talk about the rendering test. So let's do a quick recap. The rendering test is also known as integration test in the older version of the Ember, and it only works on the component because it's going to involve some template rendering and DOM elements. Well, let's jump into the code and write the rendering test first. So here we add the product stash details component and similar to the service that Ember CLI will create a test file automatically for the component. So let's look at this test file under the test slash the integration slash components. Let's look at the structure of the rendering test. It's using the module to define this testing scope, which is the same with the unit test. And the difference is it's calling a different function, the setup rendering test from the Ember dash Q unit. And if you look at the individual test, that one thing you have to do here is to call the render function from the ember slash test dash helpers library that you can render the, the handlebar template here of your component. And since a lot of action here is asynchronously, so you have to add async in front of your function and do await in front of the uh, asynchronized call. So after the template is rendered, you can start to assert the DOM element within your component. So let's start running our test with the dash S. So we can virtualize the target component in a testing window. And let's filter in on the product slash details and click apply. So the default tests are failed because we changed our component so let's remove all this default assertion. So here is a small tips when you work on the rendering test. We can do await this pause test. So we'll, the test will pause at certain points so that you can look at your DOM element to see what's happening over there. So let's save it. So you can see here, let's do me a little bit that you can see some uh, text in here, which is some un A. And this is the uh, the price over here, I think so. Yes, the original price and also the current price. The reason that it doesn't render it properly is because we expect the parent to pass in some value into this component, but we didn't pass anything into here. Besides that, you may notice the style doesn't write because we're supposed to have some colors. And for the rating, it doesn't rely on any data. The reason for that is we didn't link the related uh, CSS file to the test HTML. So here you can see inside the index.html, we link the bootstrap and also the form awesome. So let's copy this too and go into the test slash index.html and paste the link in here. So after save it, it's automatically refresh and you will notice the rating shows up and the text have some colors in here. So let's close this and go back to the test file. So let's try in to put the price. So here is what we do here. We need to set a, a property using the this dot set. So let's do this set price. And the price is the, uh, the object. And let's look at here. So it has the original price and also the current price. So let's do original, let's say 50. And the current price is like 30. And after we set the properties, we need to pass that into our component inside this handlebar template. So let's do price equal to this dot price. So after save it, you can see we have the price shows up in here. And if you wanted to have a, uh, a larger view of this one, we can, we can enter the developer mode. So you can focus on all these elements. Let's turn off developer mode and go back to our test file and write some assertion here. So we wanted to assert that the previous price element display the correct uh, text. So we need the 
scissors selector here so that we can know which element we're looking at. So here we can use the delete element with the small class. So it would be delete small and it will has the has text. The text is dollar sign with 50 and save. So after save it, you can see the, the test failed because you expect the result have the uh, decimal. So we add a dot zero zero here and refresh. So the test passed. The this element has the text. But here's a problem. If we're always using the scissors selector, what if we change the styles? So this the test won't work. So the easiest way to do that is to add a test selector. So here we do data dash test. That's the name of the uh, selector. So this will be uh, original price. So we put this test selector inside this section. Don't forget to add the brackets. So let's save it and refresh. The test still passed, but it's looking at this test selector. So the next time, if we wanted to change the style, we can feel free to change it because this is separate from this selector. Now let's add the test for the current price as well. So data test current price. Let's change this to current and the text change to 30 and save it. After refresh, you can see both tests are passed. The next thing I wanted to test is the passing function. So let's go back into the template. When you click on the color, this function will call. So let's set up a fake function here. And within this function, we will pass some color and we need to assert the color is the color that we expected. Let's say the color we want is red. If you go back to the template, you will see we need its detail to true. And also we need to have the colors so that we can have a list of the option here then we can click. So here we need to set up the colors. And this will be a list. And the first color here will be red. And we need to put all these properties and the function inside this component. Don't forget to add its details to true and save it. Now let's pause the test to see if the color option shows. After refresh, you can see the color option is here. And let's remove this. So the next thing we're going to do is to click on the color option and invoke the passing function. In order to achieve that, we need to import the click helper from the Ember test helper. And we do await click on the test selector of the color option. So let's go back into our template and add a data test color and copy this into our test file. After save it, this refresh, you will see three assertion all passed. That's pretty much about this tutorial. Hit like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want more. Leave the comment to let me know what do you want me to talk about using Ember. And in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about the application test. See you next time.